Disney World just so happens to be located in the middle of Florida, which can be pretty brutal when it comes to the weather. One day it's scorching and humid, and the next you are soaked down to your shoes and shivering on the bus back to the hotel. We've got 10 tips that should help you be prepared for anything Mother Nature can throw at you in Disney World. Don't move a muscle. What's happening guys? Margot Jordan here with All Ears TV, ready to tattle the latest Disney travel tips. In this video, we're sharing 10 tips to prep you for any kind of weather in the world. Let's get started. Number one, know before you go. In the weeks or days leading up to your vacation, constantly check your favorite weather app for any changes that get made to the forecast. The forecast can change on you even up to the day before you leave, so checking regularly will ensure you're not surprised when you arrive. Plus, staying up to date will ensure that you can still pack any essentials you may need before you leave. Number two, pack the right clothes. Florida weather is a fickle thing and can change from sunny to cloudy on a dime. If the weather is predicted to change from day to day, you may need to pack some extra clothes for whatever the day has in store. This can include shorts and t-shirts for those hot summer days, pants for early in the morning or late at night, and a light jacket during the colder months. Another thing you should consider packing is a poncho or some sort of rain gear. If you're caught outside when the drops begin to fall, you can easily get very soaked before you find the next shop that sells them. Since you'll be spending a fair amount of time in Disney World on your feet, another thing you will need is a good pair of shoes. Closed toe shoes with comfortable soles might make standing in line for Space Mountain a bit more bearable. As a matter of fact, you can check our ultimate packing guide video for more tips right here. Number three, start your days early. Generally, it's a lot cooler in the Florida mornings than it is when you're hightailing it around World Showcase in the afternoon. If you want to avoid the brunt of the sweltering heat, wake up and get to the parks early. Not only will this let you keep cool, but you might be able to avoid the big crowds that show up later in the day this way. You can take a break around the time the heat starts to really get to you. Our suggestion, get a dull whip, rest for a little, and then head back out at night when the crowds and the sun has backed off a bit. Number four, stay hydrated. Speaking of the heat, you are going to be getting a lot of steps around Walt Disney World. You will want to stay properly hydrated and keep your fluids up. Every counter service location will give you a free cup of water if you ask for it. If you're not a fan of Florida water, consider bringing a filtered water bottle to fill up with in the parks. There are even a few refillable water bottle stations around the parks now. You can find one at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe in Galaxy's Edge and more areas. Number five, protect your essentials. If the rain is going to play a big factor into your vacation, you can protect your essentials by bringing Ziploc baggies, as my mom likes to call them. Appropriately sized bags can keep your wallet, phone, and other items nice and dry in the midst of a Florida downpour. A stroller cover can also help keep your kiddos and anything else you put inside safe. If you don't have Ziploc bags or a shower cover, you can usually ask a cast member at the Disney World stores for a free plastic bag to keep your stuff covered. Number six, bring extra socks and shoes. Like I said earlier, you're going to be walking around a lot in Disney World, whether it's standing in the brutally long line for a flight of passage or hanging around Disney Springs. Riding the water rides like Splash Mountain and Cali River Rapids might get your feet a little soaked. To me, there is no nastier feeling than soggy sneakers. If it's raining, as it often does in Florida, this may end up leading to more than a little splashdown. Having extra shoes and socks on hand will help provide some relief to your feet. This can also help in the hotter seasons when the humidity causes a lot more perspiration. Number seven, dress in layers. When the colder months come around, you might want to dress in layers for your adventures in the parks. Not only will it be colder outside, but inside the shops and attractions might be a little chillier as well. 
Anything that can easily slip on or off and be sewed in a backpack can make it easy to adjust to the temperature changing throughout the day. Number eight, use sunscreen. When you're out in the Florida sun, it is very important to put on that layer of sunblock to keep off those nasty UV rays. Even though you will be inside on rides and chowing down, you'll want to cover the sensitive areas of your head. Your nose and ears are areas where you're going to want to watch and reapply if necessary. My dad had melanoma and they had to remove a chunk of his ear. I'm dead serious, people. Also, hi, dad. <laughs> okay, moving on to number nine, going to a dining reservation. If the weather's becoming too much to bear, a great way to take a break is by going to lunch or a dining reservation. You'll be able to get off your feet, get re-energized, and get some of that sweet, sweet air conditioning. Number 10, go inside for a show. Another way you can take a break from Mother Nature is by finding an indoor show to relax in. Most shows run around the 12 to 15 minute mark, so you can stretch out in the air conditioning for quite a break. Some of our favorites to unwind with are Mickey's Philhar Magic, the Country Bear Jamboree, and Muppet Vision 3D. Okay, that does it for us on this episode of All Ears TV. If you need more planning tips for your Disney World vacation, you can head to allears.net and review our recommendations. Before you head out though, will you do me a favor and both subscribe and like this video? I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. I'm Margot Jordan and I will catch you next time. Bye.